Today I'm going to talk about Mars going retrograde, which is happening right now. And before I do that, I just want to let you know that I'm offering free 20-minute consultations to anybody who signs up for my newsletter. So please just go into the box below, click the link, enter your info, and you'll receive an email from me within a few days to schedule. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe. Today, Mars is basically at a standstill as it turns retrograde. It's going to be retrograde in Gemini through mid-January, turning direct on January 12th. Now what happens when a planet turns retrograde is that basically, from the point of view of the Earth, the planets are all moving in one direction. Then as a planet starts to go retrograde, it slows down, comes to a stop, and then appears to move backward. So this phenomenon is basically like the same as when you're on the freeway and you're moving faster than another car, you pass another car, and that car, in a way, appears to be moving backward relative to you. Right? Both are still going forward, but one looks like it's going backward because the other one has you know, passed it. So that's the deal with retrograde motion. Right? Mars is not turning around. But what happens when a planet turns retrograde is that it's ordinary functioning. Right? Planets all carry a sort of energy to them, right? It's ordinary functioning, the ordinary kind of direction of that energy gets turned around, right? Gets more introverted, meaning that, you know, when we ordinarily go about our daily business and, you know, live our normal human lives using that energy, well, when it goes retrograde, we're kind of challenged to look within and, and deal with however it is that we do that planet. So, the question in Mars retrograde is, how do you do Mars, All right? And so Mars relates to anything having to do with self-assertion, courage, anger, threat, violence, irritation, aggression, you know, the whole gamut basically from physical vitality and strength to, you know, absolutely just annihilating somebody because they you know, said the wrong thing. So. <laughs> it's funny actually because often what happens at retrogrades is that you will revisit something from the past. Okay, so I just happened to be going through old journals today and I happened to open up just kind of randomly to uh, the, the very day of the last Mars retrograde uh, that was um, in September of 2020. And I was just reading the entries from around that day. And, you know, I am pleased to say that my inner work is paying off, that I've come a long way in two years because I definitely found out on that day how I did Mars at that time. And it wasn't too pretty. Um, what can happen with Mars retrograde, especially on the day that it stations, anytime the planet stations, its energy is like boom, boom, boom. So it's just beaming at you hard. So, you know, what that means with Mars is that any little bit of irritation, any little bit of resentment, any little bit of anger, all of that kind of stuff, if it is, if there's any little thing in there that can get you, it's likely to get you. So watch out. Things can escalate very, very quickly, particularly over the next few days. I mean, probably for the you know, the days leading up to right now as well. So sorry I didn't put this out sooner. But, um, but basically, you know, just watch out. A hair trigger, like weird escalation from, you know, things are all good to suddenly like we're drawing swords kind of thing. So take it easy. As I keep saying about astrology, I just keep emphasizing this point, right? We are not subject to what happens by the planets. Okay? We've got to not think of ourselves as subject to these forces. We have to think about ourselves as receptive to the vibrations. That basically Mars is a vibration of, you know, there's a kind of forceful, assertive uh, kind of energy that comes through. We feel it as a very kind of <clears throat> kind of energy. So how do you respond to that, right? When that seizes you, do you need to go do, 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 do? Do you need to fight, 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 fight? Is there a problem out there? Is somebody trying to attack you? 
Are you perceiving that somebody's trying to attack you? Do you need to just get energy out somehow? I mean, what is it, right? So always with planets like Mars or Saturn or Pluto, you know, the, so the hard planets, we got to be mindful of how it is that we do that planet. So that's what this retrograde is all about. How do you do Mars? So over the next few days, you know, try to leave a little bit of space between your reactions, right? Feel what arises when somebody gets you. Um, you might find yourself frustrated at times over Mars retrograde, wanting to plow forward with a certain agenda and find that, you know, you can't make the straight line uh, to your goal in the way that you want to. So rather than getting all twisted up and outraged and enraged about it, let it go. Breathe. Transmute. So, you know, I offer a lot of tips on my station for how to do that so you, know, you can check out other videos meditations and stuff like that um that's all i'm gonna say about mars retrograde so take it easy because if you don't life isn't as fun talk to you next time mm -hmm.